I work at 309 Autumn Lane. I'm a community pharmacist. Yeah. And, um, okay, so basically, as a set waiting for us to begin, I couldn't really help but look at the screen as well as like the agenda and notice the logo that we have, which is Huntsville, the Star of Alabama. And it's really a title that we use to represent ourselves, I suppose, but I'm not sure how well we're living up to it because we're really not even making the first steps required to get any kind of healing done. So I know y'all are probably tired of hearing about the statue because it's pretty, you know, worn out as a subject, but it is kind of the first step and it is standing on our courthouse steps in our city square, which means optically it represents us. And I'm not okay with that personally. I don't know how anybody else feels on it. But now I know everyone's aware of the statue, but I'm not sure if everyone's taken a moment to read all the inscriptions that we've got on and around it. I know that the one gentleman just uh, you know, read the, the frontline one, but I'm gonna go through that and I'm also gonna go through a couple other things and that's the end of my piece. But so our headline, you know, quote is in memory of the heroes who fell in defense of the principles which gave birth to the Confederate cause. What causes that? The next part of the statue, if you go around to the side of it, is dedicated to, um, I guess, Confederate hero? John Hunt Morgan, the Thunderbolt of the Confederacy. And the quote, he died defending the noble cause. So, next to that statue, and I guess Kay Ivy probably hasn't put a fine on this, so y'all can probably take it on up, but there's a signpost sitting there going on and on in detail about how handsome the statue is, how it costs $3,000, how it's made out of fancy marble, and I don't know why we're endorsing that signpost being next to it, glorifying that. But, yeah. Um, rounding up, the people of Huntsville should really have a voice in what represents us. So, if our representatives are unwilling to make the changes and call for the changes that we need to get going and show a sense of urgency in accomplishing what we need to get done, then we have no choice but to find any kind of new representation. And I thank you for your time, and I call for anybody's resignation who is not for getting rid of that statue post-haste. Thank you. Thank you.